Welcome to the first part of a two-part tutorial on getting started with Cosmic CMS and Next.js. In today's video, we're going to create an account with Cosmic. We're going to set up our static blog and talk through what those data models look like. And then finally, deploy to Vercel. First, let's talk about Cosmic. It's a headless CMS that's made by developers and it provides a GraphQL API, a REST API, and a JavaScript client, which makes it really easy to access your content in whichever way you want. It pairs really well with Next.js when you want to take dynamic content and create output that is going to be static. Now, with this static output, you can deploy it across the world behind a global CDN and minimize costs and improve performance. If you've never worked with Next.js, don't worry. It's a framework on top of React and it basically abstracts away all of the boilerplate and makes it really easy to build fast performant React applications. <laughs> okay, so let's jump right in and create an account with Cosmic. All right, so we're at CosmicJS.com and before this video, I went ahead and created an account and verified my account through email. So let's get started and pop right into the dashboard into the app and let's do this tour. Welcome to Cosmic. So a bucket is where all of our content and files are stored for each projects. And each bucket, think of that as the, the top most level, contains object types. Now each object type is essentially a collection of things that have the same function. So in this blog post example, a great example would be the blog post authors, pages, etc. And each one of these types then has objects underneath it. And this is a single piece of content within your bucket. So an object would be a page or a blog post or an author. Now each one of these have different fields to describe an object called meta fields. And these allow you to extend your object content model. And as I mentioned in the intro, we have a REST API, GraphQL API, and a, a JS client as well. So let's complete this tour and start building. So we see the first screen we're looking at here is adding a bucket. And we can either start from scratch or we can start with an app. Let's start with an app. And if we scroll down, there is a template for a Next.js static blog that will kickstart our project. So let's do that. We will um, start off by looking at a demo of what we're gonna build. So this is a really, really fast, statically generated blog that uses Cosmic as a CMS. It's deployed with Vercel, it uses Next.js, and it also uses Tailwind CSS under the hood. So that's what we're going to be creating. Um, we can pull up the code if we'll need to reference that, but let's select this application and we can change the name if we'd like, but for now we'll just do Next.js static blog and we'll start with this app. So that's going to install this app and take us here. All right, so let's look at our content models. On the left, we can click on posts and we see that this comes pre-generated with five different posts. So let's click on one of these posts that has a status of published and see what it looks like. So inside of this post model, we have a title, we have a slug for the route that we will be visiting in the browser. We can add more meta fields if we'd like. We have content which supports markdown and we can easily preview that inside of here some excerpt that we want to use for SEO or showing on the home screen, a cover image, and we can upload these images directly to Cosmic, and then finally an author. And you'll notice that you select one of these authors, and that's because authors is another type, and we have a list of authors inside of here. So for example, the author that comes pre-populated also has a name, a slug, a picture that we can upload through Cosmic, and we can add in whatever meta fields we want here to extend it. Now on the right, you see that we can modify the settings, we can publish this, we can unpublish, or we can even do drafts. And in the, the second part 
of this tutorial, we'll start talking about how we can utilize the draft functionality to see previews of the content that we want to produce. The other thing I want to explain is media on the left, and we see all of the media that we've uploaded for this project. So we have a few different cover images and then the image of our author. And it's also helpful to mention that we can toggle what some of these um, views look like depending on if we're an editor or if we're a developer. So that developers have more tools available to fine tune and craft things, whereas your potential content writers or non-technical people can still come in and create content for your site. So let's go back to our dashboard. Those are the models that this comes built with. Um, we're not gonna add any team members, we're just gonna stay on the free plan right now. And let's deploy this application to Vercel. So to do that, we're going to need to go into our settings and get API access. So let's toggle off viewing as an editor and go into our settings and we'll do basic settings. And here we have API access. So I'm actually gonna open in a new tab. We'll go back to the dashboard. We'll click on deploy. And this is going to go through the import workflow for Vercel. So it points to a URL of some Git repository. We'll hit continue. I'm going to use my personal GitHub account. We're gonna give it a name here. So let's just say Next.js um, Cosmic. And this will be a public GitHub repository. The project is gonna be called Next.js Cosmic. And we're gonna use the preset is defined as next. We have some build and output settings that we don't need to override or change. Um, and then we could provide any extra environment variables if we wanted. But the nice thing about this project import workflow is that it tells us which environment variables are required to get this application working. So now if we go back to our dashboard, you see we have the bucket slug. We have the read key. And the final secret here is the preview secret, which can just be any string that we define. Um, so let's just say this is going to be preview. Okay. So now if we click deploy, Vercel is going to go ahead and connect to our GitHub set up the repository, um, copy over this template, and then actually go and create a deployment for our Vercel account. Now you see on the right, our deployment's been started and we can view the build logs showing us as it progresses through that deployment. So first it's going to recognize that there is no build cache. We're doing this for the first time. It's gonna install all the packages necessary for this deployment, run the build script that we use by default, which is just yarn run build, which uses next build under the hood. We see the output of all the different routes that were built in our application. And then finally it goes and uploads these outputs to Vercel. And now we can either go look at this in the dashboard. Oh, confetti, amazing. <laughs> or we can visit our deployed application. So now we have nextjscosmic.vercel.app. And boom, this is deployed on our account. And let's go in here, preview mode for static generation. We can click through pages and it's all static, it's all very, very fast. Uh, it's really, really nice. All right, so that's a really quick overview of how to set up your Cosmic CMS account, set up the data models for a blog, and finally deploy a Next.js application to Vercel. In the next video, we're going to run the application locally and talk through the workflow for creating content, previewing it, and finally deploying it to production, and even explain some of the static site generation code that's inside of our Next.js application. So stay tuned for part two. Thanks.